Hello all. So welcome back to the second part of this tutorial. Okay. So in this tutorial, I mean in this part of this tutorial, I will be doing the same Twitter sentiment analysis using a large language model called Roberta. Okay. So a quick look into uh, what Roberta is. So Roberta is a large language model that is actually, you know, uh, it was proposed by um, Inhan Liu, uh, Naman Goyal, etc. And you know, it is actually something that is trained on Google's BERT model. Okay. So BERT is also another large language model uh, based on transformer architecture. That was, I mean, that is actually one of the state of the art models for natural language processing uh, task. Okay. So Roberta is actually a robust version of BERT. Okay. So that's all what Roberta is. And so we will be using another version of this Roberta model that is trained specifically for sentiment analysis on Twitter data. Okay. So we'll be using uh, Twitter Roberta based sentiment. This is the model that we will be using. Okay. So this is uh, pre-trained on, uh, you can see 58 million tweets. Okay. So it is uh, fine tuned for sentiment analysis and it was trained on 58 million tweets. Okay. So uh, that is the model that we'll be using, which is pre-trained. So let us see how it goes. So the first few parts of the code remains the same, loading the data set, cleaning it and all those steps, all the cleaning steps, everything is same. Okay. So uh, the only change for the data set that we will be doing is we are just taking the we're taking only 1000 of the samples. Okay. So the reason is that it's a large language model and it takes a lot of resources to run. Okay. So if you are trying to predict the um, sentiment for all the 1.6 million tweets, it's going to take forever. I mean, not forever, but it will take some time. Okay. And we don't need to uh, know that, right? So we don't need to uh, know the results for 1.6 million to compare it with the our base model. So we will just use the first thousand one. So we will use a sampling function to uh, get the positive samples and negative samples. Okay. Uh, you know, we see. Okay, one more thing. I have already written all the code. Okay, so I will just go through it and explain it instead of just uh, typing in because it will take more time. And this tutorial, whole tutorial is already taking a lot of time, right? So. Uh, see, we will split it into positive and negative samples and then we will combine it and make the uh, data set with 1000 samples. Okay. So we will uh, <coughs> we'll use a sample function to get get the uh, negative, I mean positive values 500 of them and also negative values 500 of them and we will combine it to make a data subset. We will concatenate and make a data subset with 1000, uh, you know, 500, 500, 500 each positive and negative samples. Okay. And we will do the same thing. We will replace four with one uh, to make it one and zero. Okay, like a binary classification. And next comes the change. Okay, so this is the change. So we are basically um, loading the model here. Like I have uh, mentioned before, we'll be using the sentiment analysis uh, model from uh, Roberta. Okay, so I mean the Roberta model that is trained specifically for uh, sentiment analysis on Twitter data. Okay, so that's the model that we'll be using. So we'll we are just uh, making a string saying that this is the model that we want and we are saying like you know we need the Twitter Roberta base model and the task is sentiment okay so this is the model that we want and also we are initializing the tokenizer so this auto tokenizer you have to import this uh, you know we can you have to import this auto tokenizer and also auto model for sequ sequence classification so this is where we will be getting the model so this too you have to import from transformers okay you have to import from transformers library so you have to uh, install any of these libraries if you are if you haven't already and imp importing torch is also a little bit task heavy thing so i will be uh, putting a link to the link to another youtube video which actually uh, you know explains how to install torch uh, in windows machines so i will leave the link to that in the description so if you have any doubts regarding installation of uh, any of these libraries you can just comment it down i will be happy to help okay so yeah let's come back to our model so we will be initializing the tokenizer and this is really important you, you have to use the same tokenizer that they have used to pre-train this roberta model okay so that's the reason why we are taking the uh, tokenizer from uh, pre-trained model and we are passing in our model and asking for the tokenizer that is used uh, for this pre-training okay so we will be initializing the same tokenizer here and also we are getting the model from pre-trained models and you know we are passing in our string so this will identify our model and it will we will get back the model okay so in the next step we are just checking for 
if you have a gpu we are just checking you know if coda is available if coda is available when we will be uh, doing this uh, task on gpu otherwise we will be using cpu okay so if you have gpu installed if you have nvidia gpu installed and you know if you have coda installed then this step will uh, benefit you you know you will be able to run this model on uh, gpu okay so and we will move our model to uh, gpu okay so we are moving our model to gpu so the whole process will be happening in gpu okay so guys now um, here we are defining a function named predict sentiment okay so sorry so we are defining a function named predict sentiment which takes a single parameter which is our text and this is going to be the text whose sentiment we want to predict okay so just like before just like in our previous model and uh, now we need to prepare our text for the model so we use the tokenizer that we have initialized before to convert this text into tokens okay so same thing same thing we have done in the previous model but with the tokenizer of uh, our pre-trained model okay and then encode it to into tensors okay so we need to encode it into tensors and this return tensor is equal to pt means it should be a pytorch it should be in a pytorch tensor format okay so basically all this does is that you know it will uh, we are saying it to encode it into tensors this will convert our text into a format that our model can understand okay that our model can understand okay so that's all what this is doing you know it is tokenizing uh, our text into a form of tensors uh, a pytorch tensors that our model can understand okay and yeah we are also passing in the same process to uh, the device means the um, gpu okay and yeah so this will ensure that it will happen in uh, gpu okay move to the correct device which is the which is in, which in our case is uh, gpu okay i mean in my case is gpu uh, maybe if you have, if you don't have a gpu then it will be cpu okay okay anyway so next you know we are just uh, inferring uh, like you know we are telling pytorch not to compute gradients because we are in inference mode not uh, training mode inside this block we pass our encoded uh, input to the model to get the output okay so we are passing in the encoder input to the model to get the output so this output will contain our row prediction scores okay so that is what uh, we are doing here we are telling not to compute gra gradients uh, because we are in inference mode like you know we are predicting we are not training okay so that's all so we will uh, pass in our encoded input and we will get the output okay all right so next we take the first element of the output the first element of the output and move it to the cpu then convert it to a num by array okay we are converting it to a num by array after that we apply the softmax function to this course to get probabilities for each class negative neutral and positive so okay one more thing i haven't uh, told you so this model will actually return negative positive and neutral scores okay but uh, since now we are only using uh, positive and negative we will only be taking 0 and 2 okay so one will be neutral so we will be taking only uh, the negative score which is 0 the positive score which is 2 okay we are ignoring one here okay which is the neutral class we don't need it okay so that is what we are doing here and then we are saying uh, return 1 if positive score is greater than negative score else 0 so here we are you know interested in the negative and positive scores right so first we extract them you know uh, by uh, doing this and then we will return 1 if the positive score is greater than the negative score okay indicating a positive sentiment otherwise we return zero so if it's a positive sentiment if the positive score is greater then we will uh, return that you know it is a uh, positive sentiment otherwise we will return it is a negative sentiment okay so zero indicate negative sentiment one indicates positive sentiment okay okay now we will just apply this apply this um, i mean like we will take in our text data and we will pass it to this uh, predict sentiment so that is what we are doing using apply function uh, you know we will pass in this all the text data to this predict sentiment function and we will get the sentiment for all of that okay and we are storing the same in another column inside the same data set uh, data subset okay so uh, so next step is model evaluation so let us see how it has uh, done so we will take in uh, white true from uh, the data subset uh, which is the target column in the data subset that is the white true and y predict so the predicted value is the is in the sentiment column we have saved it in the sentiment column so we will take in that as well as y pred so we will get y true and y pred and we will uh, make a classification report uh, using the uh, using them both okay 
and uh, we are putting it some target names as negative and positive okay so uh, we have printed the report as you can see um, it has done fairly good but it is uh, not as good as our model okay so there could be many reasons uh, one thing could be the labeling of the data set okay so there might be some issues with the labeling of the data set uh, which might not be uh, similar to uh, what this guys have done while pre-training this model okay so there could be many reasons anyway it has done fairly well but we do expected you know we did expect you know uh, much better performance so you can try and tweak some of these uh, maybe data cleaning steps or maybe you can try to retrain this model again using your own data and try to improve this and you know come i mean you can also comment in the uh, comment section you know maybe some suggestions to improve this so this is just a, a base introduction to how to use a large language model for sentiment analysis okay so if you really want then you can comment it down i will do another video where we will use uh, an llm we will try to pre-train an llm and try to do sentiment analysis okay so uh, just to prove my point that you know it might be some it might not i mean it is not something wrong with the uh, model i have actually tried to predict one of the tweets uh, that i have manually manually typed in like you know i love data science brain and i have passed it into this function test single tweet and we will take in uh, the tweet and we will do the same cleaning process uh, by calling the clean text function and now we will get the sentiment from the predict sentiment function okay so uh, and we have i mean we will return if it's positive the sentiment is equal to one else it is negative okay so uh, you know as you can see it is actually able to uh, see that you know this tweet is uh, positive now let us just try and change this to i hate data science brain and you know it is actually able to uh, predict the sentiment i mean classified sentiment as negative okay so there is nothing wrong with the wrong with the model it does it is doing its job it is correctly classifying negative or positive sentiments so there might be something wrong with the data set okay so you can uh, tweak the pre-processing steps or maybe you know uh, you can look into the data set further you know do some data analysis some data visualizations and you know try to uh, come up with a better uh, I mean better model I mean not better model better prediction using the uh, pre-trained model okay so one thing to note we haven't pre-trained this model okay we are just we just use this pre-trained model uh, for the prediction okay so there is no training happened here okay we just predicted it okay we just predicted it using the existing model the base model okay not the base model the base model trained on tutor data for sentiment analysis okay so you can further tweak this you can train uh, your own model using the LLM and uh, you know come down the results okay so that's all about uh, the second part i know it was quick i know it was just a walk through uh, but uh, the whole idea was to just to introduce you to uh, using an llm for uh, nlp task okay so i hope you enjoyed video uh, if you found this useful kindly like and share this video with your friends and you know leave a comment um, you know saying your suggestions okay so if you want a detailed explanation video detailed uh, i mean code by code video of this and also if you want a video where i have pre-trained using llm then kindly comment it down okay okay then thank you thanks for watching i will see you in the next video